It's review time. Today, we got three bags of traffic coffee. Oh, this is good. Fuck. So first of all, I just wanna let you guys know, just as a disclaimer, I'm just a coffee fan. I just love to drink coffee every morning, every evening. Anytime I can actually drink coffee, I'll drink coffee. I really like good coffee. Maybe I shouldn't do these videos after drinking so much coffee. So today marks the first uh, actual review. I'm really happy to do this with traffic because I really like these three bags. So this is gonna be quite easy to review. This is a company based in Montreal. What's really great about these guys is they're really interested in every facet of where people drink coffee and that could be as much as in gyms, corporations and stuff like that. So um, they're pretty open-minded. What's really great is where they roast. They're in a co-op. Actually, the, uh, this is actually done. I'm, I, I'm just drinking in the past the last uh, sip of espresso that the Savage Sauvage actually really impressed me. What I really liked about the Savage is the little fruity aspect of the espresso. And what I like when I drink the, the fruity side of the espresso is mostly when I tr kind of feel like the, the little berry tomato side of it. That's what I really liked about it. I don't even know where, where this one comes from. Oh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia and uh, Brazil. So yeah. African coffees, most of the time, are some of my favorites. What's really cool about how they make uh, these bags is they also tell you um, right here how you should use them as either an espresso or a uh, filter or pour over. As opposed to if you look at these two bags, here's a little logo that'll just let you know, oh, these bags are good for this. So, really stoked on how they, they turned out. Um, I used these two as pour overs and made cold brew out of them. To be very honest, this bag, Terence Ndua Yezu. Good, good taste of the Terence and uh, cold, cold brew or even on the pour over, but I really felt that I, I had the maximum of the flavor uh, in the cold brew. It was more of a honey chocolatey taste. Really felt refreshing and at the same time, kind of like uh, get, take off away the cravings that I have for sugar was better in the cold brew than Marcelo. The Marcelo was one of the best pour overs I've ever drank. Big shout out to this, this one. What was really great about the Marcelo as a pour over, it really tasted like, um, like cherry and uh, in a very uh, light manner. Um, even though when everybody knows that when you drink a nice pour over and you get a, a lot of cups in, the, it's still really high caffeinated. But um, yeah, the, the taste was really good on that point. These bags are 100% recyclable. Something fascinates me about coffee companies, uh, it seems that as roasters grow into popularity, sometimes the quality won't be the same, it might be a little lower. This is not what's happening with traffic. What's happening with traffic is, I remember in the beginning when I was buying down their bags um, and drinking their coffee, they were good coffee, but it has nothing to compare within what you can have right now. They have grown and the taste of whatever they can do and how they roast is so much better. It's a quite a really nice evolution from the start. So as an overall review, I must admit the Savage was my favorite of them all. Uh, a massive fan of espressos and this just blown my mind. If you're a fan like me of espressos, this is the one to go with. If uh, you're a fan of pour overs, the Marcello is the one to go with. And if you like cold brews and hot days of summer, the uh, Therence is the, the one to go through. I hope you enjoy this. So thank you so much for listening to this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it me a nice thumbs up. You know all that stuff. 